Okay, folks, it's Duke here at Holiday World of Katy, and a little windy, but I'm going to show you a pretty cool floor plan. You've never seen one like this, probably. I never have until I saw this one. This is the uh, 251BH Transcend. It is a uh, bunkhouse, but a very unique design, a very practical floor plan, very well engineered. And uh, So I'm just go ahead and let you take a look at it. First, take a look at a couple of the features on the outside. It's got the uh, propane tanks up there in the front and the... Uh, power tongue jack here's your pass-through storage all the things you would expect on a travel trailer transcend explorer has its powder coated aluminum siding so in this uh traditional construction this is about as nice as it's going to get for you right here if you're looking for traditional construction you like the uh, something that holds up out in the weather you don't have to pay extra for fiberglass that you don't need because you got a truck. This one, I think it weighs about 6,700 pounds. We'll check the specs on it. But here, there is a bedroom slide and there's a living room slide. So you probably think uh, it's going to be set up like a typical travel trailer with the bedroom slide, but it really isn't. So we'll get to that in a second. There's some storage right here in this slide. That's underneath the bed. There is a black flush tank and where you hook up your... Uh, power which is right here this is a 30 amp it's 30 amps dual axle try to work on my camera work here so here are the uh, specs on this one it says the unloaded vehicle weight 6758 gross vehicle weight 7695 that's if you have it loaded up with water and everything you're not going to travel with it that heavy 6758 right there is your unloaded vehicle weight or call the dry weight but uh enough with the suspense let's go inside but first we'll take a look at this big awning up here you got the stereo speakers they got a nice big grab handle here it's the 251 bh and i am duke i'm here at holiday world of katy we're just west of houston in the uh houston area so when you walk in the door there is a sofa right there that's a jackknife sofa and up above it is a bunk that'll come down, a double bunk. There's a little stairwell that'll get you up there and a ladder that's built in right here. I don't know if you can see that. This camera works. Sorry about that. I just hit the uh, wire. So you walk up these steps and you've got a ladder. Place to uh, get up on this bunk. Make it convenient. So you've got a full 74 inch bunk. That's 6 foot 2. Enough for wide enough for two kids big adult no problem and then this is a jackknife sofa right here so it's a very comfortable sofa I'm sitting in it right now and I can testify in court if I need to this is comfortable I'll say that under oath it's a comfortable sofa and it looks comfortable right there you can see that it's got an armrest so you can use that with the cup holders you can put it up accommodate another person and say you're visiting here in this living room You've got the uh, theater seats right there. That'll accommodate three people, but it also has the uh, fold-down armrest there, cup holder. And then this table is, it folds up and you can store it, I believe, back behind this uh, tri-fold sofa. So you can put it out of the way if you want to have a big area in here. So this is the floor plan in the front section of it. You've got a kitchen with a lot of counter space check that box is that what you're looking for this one checks the box so go ahead and click that off you want nice pantry space you've got pantry space up here big place underneath the uh, sink but look over here you've got all this pantry space right here there's one two three drawers like this one a bigger drawer down here and then some uh pantry space right there so you got a lot of storage areas here and then also you've got some drawers underneath this uh you know it's a door underneath this uh trifold sofa so i'm going to go ahead and uh oh look at that here's something i didn't even notice look back here there is a flat area back there so if you're sleeping on this one you could put your feet this is a cushion right here this makes into a full size double over double. I'm, I'm learning stuff right now as I'm uh, making this video. That's why I do this. I enjoy this and I get to figure stuff out as we go along. 
So you've got a full double over double bunk here. The lower bunk is actually bigger than the front bunk, but you can accommodate uh, a couple could sleep right there in that lower bunk. A couple of kids could sleep right there. You've got these three recliners over here. So this is a very versatile floor plan. If it's, uh, you wanna put the armrest down, watch a little TV, it's right where it's supposed to be, right across from this, uh, this theater seat. So uh, you have a beautiful sofa right here, very comfortable, Thomas Paine furniture. This is what you find if you look at a Solitude or a Montana or an Alpine. Those are the top three selling brands in luxury fifth wheels. They have the same furniture, the Thomas Paine collection furniture. So this travel trailer built with traditional construction with aluminum siding uh, has the uh, same furniture. That, that's not what you're finding in most of these. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how quick and easy it is to put this back up. Right now it's set up at bunk with, as bunks. Everybody gets up. The people sleeping here grab their clothes that are hanging right there. And you can just push this up. You can just lift this uh, trifold sofa back in place and voila you want to visit with your friends and family you want to hang out you got a place to sit there you can sit three people there and you can sit three people there I'm, the reason I'm mentioning that is most bunk houses they don't truly match the living area doesn't match the sleeping you'll have sleeping for nine and then room to sit down for three or something like that or four uh, comfortably unless somebody's sitting in a dinette this has one two three recliners three people could sit there so you have six people could sit in here comfortably uh, when you have it set up as a living room versatility is a beautiful thing in an rv and you've taken a look at the kitchen here already so sorry about my enthusiasm about this one. I really think this is a nice unit and I'm enjoying looking at it. Hope you're enjoying tagging along with me. I'm Duke, your video host here at Holiday World of Katy. Look at that stainless steel sink, that beautiful gooseneck style residential fixture right there. Place for your coffee pot, instant pot, Keurig, air fryer, lots of counter space here. And uh, three burner Furion cooktop and oven. Again, this table just folds up and you can put it right out of the way. If you want this as one big open area, you can put that table out at, on your, at your campsite. You can fold it up, leave it at home. Whatever you want to do, you can bring it along, use it as a dining table. Okay, but the, the excitement continues. We're going to look at the, the bathroom now. Look at this bathroom. This is a full-width bath. Runs the full width of the coach. So there's a slide out right here. That has the refrigerator. I didn't show you the refrigerator. I have to work on my presentation skills. Got a little overly exuberant. There's the fridge right there. It is a Furion fridge. Now this one does have a. It's a 12 volt fridge. This has a hundred. I think it's 180 or five or 160 watt. I'm gonna have to double check. It's got a solar panel up on the roof, and uh, yeah, it's got the Transcend Explorer solar package that includes a uh, solar charge controller and a solar panel that'll keep your fridge uh, going if you're using the uh, if you have enough batteries and you get sunlight it, it in most cases it will we don't want to do any false advertising but uh, that's what will work for you as you're driving down the road collecting that sunlight from the sun natural energy keep your fridge going because you've got a trickle charge on your truck but it's not going to keep up with the fridge a lot of people won't tell you that look at this toilet here Lots of hip and leg room. It's got a heater vent right there for the uh, whoever is happens to be sitting there. You got a beautiful shower with a large footprint. So you have a lot of room in here when you're getting ready. You don't have to hold your elbows together, and that's because it's a full width bath. And so this being a 25 foot coach, as far as the coach itself, the 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 trailer, not the the hitch and all that. You get a lot of living space, a lot of sleeping space up here, a full width bath. And yes, how do they do that? How are they able to do that? Did they? Well, here's what they did. It's a queen bed, but it's on a slide out. You don't normally see that in a travel trailer. Normally you see a king bed on a slide out, but this slide out allows the, be the bedroom is not 
it doesn't have to go this direction north south it's an east west bed with a huge window there a window right there another window there and then one right there that's the emergency exit if you go out there we recommend you go out feet first that's what it works better and just take my word on it look at all the storage space you've got the uh places to put your clothes and then there is a uh, another one over here so you've got a lot of places to store things you've got the rv luxury of all kinds of windows you've got a backer location for the tv and hookups you've got a a vent right there you could open up you can put a uh, max air fan in if you want to more storage up there so yeah th this i have to say whoever engineered this and designed it and came up with it you've got my complete respect as far as the job you're doing this is a great floor plan i'm sure it's going to be very successful because it's just smart it's smart thinking it's the way to do things put your mind to it keep on working on it and that's what they did so you've got a full-size bedroom that's very comfortable with tons of windows and here's the other thing when you're sitting in here and you have this set up as a living area and you're sitting here in this theater seat look how open that looks that is a big doorway those that wide pocket door you're getting natural light from the bedroom from these skylights this is a very open and airy very inviting place to hang out it doesn't feel cramped in doesn't feel claustrophobic if you've got six or seven people in a travel trailer this is the kind of floor plan that you need something that's functional somebody can be sitting here somebody working at the kitchen a place to put your coffee if you want to you've got these armrests you can have a cup of coffee right here and there's windows all the way around there's a window on this side windows over here a big window right there then you got the full width bath which is uh, just it's a great feature it's a great setup because you're not having to just cram into a small bathroom to get ready it's all the comforts of home you've got this deep cubby storage is here in the uh, bathroom so sorry I got a little too excited I did have a little coffee this morning but I, I really am excited about this floor plan and uh, if you want to come out and see it in person, my name is Duke. I'm at Holiday World of Katy here in Katy, Texas. We're in Waller County, exit 737 on I-10. That's Interstate 10. It goes all the way across the country. If you're coming from California, just when you get to El Paso, just check your speedometer. Go another 737 miles after you cross the Texas border. And you will see Peterson Road exit 737 you'll see holiday world from the exit once you're exiting just look for us we're right there on the right if you're coming from florida coming around from tallahassee just come west on i-10 go west go through houston you won't miss it when you get through houston you'll notice and you get through katy texas you'll pass katy mills mall again exit 737 we're on the left you can see us from the freeway just go up over the bridge at peterson road and then when you come into the dealership ask for duke they know who i am over here i've worked here for a little while now and uh they'll know how to find me you could call me on your cell phone and let me know you're on your way and then once we make a deal i'll be happy to uh help you all the way through the process before and after the sale i want to thank you for viewing this video and uh, allowing me to uh show you this beautiful floor plan of the transcend Hey, a little cool front just blew in. It was a little bit warmer when I walked in this trailer. That's nice. Nice little cool breeze all of a sudden. Don't mind that at all. Got up to over 90-something yesterday. I'll take another peek at it from the outside. Oh, sorry for that. My finger's on the camera. They got a north wind all of a sudden. That just happened. You witnessed it here on my channel. I think it's April 7th. I got to check my date. 11 a.m. Central Time. That's the weather report. So, uh, thanks for viewing this video, and I will uh, look forward to hearing from you. If you have any questions or comments, just send me a text. I'm at 281 467 0659. My uh, phone number, cell phone number, is in the description below. Thank you so much.